Hello guys, this is Becca, and I'm here with you for Glue Book With Us, and this is an open collab that I am hosting, and what open collab means is that you can join in anytime you want to. You don't have to do it every week. You can do it anytime you want to. Uh, just if you wake up one morning and decide you want to participate in, in uh, Monday's Glue Book with us, hashtag, then you jump in that Monday and do it. If you want to miss a Monday or two or three Mondays, however you want to do it. That's what open collab means. If you don't know what glue booking is, it is simply what it sounds like. You have a book of any kind. You can use an old calendar like I'm doing, an old planner. You can use a magazine book. You can use uh, just a regular composition notebook. Uh, you can use anything you want. Uh, this here is an old calendar that I'm finished with and won't be using anymore for a calendar. So as you can see, I'm taking the pages and using them for glue pages, and then I put them back in my little calendar. This here is a happy planner. I can't say calendar, it's a planner. And that's what this page came out of. This here's just a, um, this is my Christmas uh, and winter book. It's just an old catalog that came through the mail that, uh, let's see, Carol Wright sent me, just a catalog. And so I used the pages to put my pictures in, to glue my glue pictures in. So that's just like a magazine or a catalog. You can also take a composition notebook, which is what this is. This here is my composition notebook. And see, I just took it and I, well, on these, I kind of wrinkle the pages. It just makes it more appealing to use. I put washi tape on the edges of each page. It's just a composition notebook. And then when it gets time for me to um, do a glue page in here, I just turn to the next available glue page and I start gluing images of any kind that I want in my glue book. And just, this one here is going to, I did, hadn't finished this. This is going to be a vehicle page where I just have all different kinds of cars and trucks and vans and things on it. This was a Christmas image here that I did. Just whatever suits me for that day. This is just a full page out of a magazine that I liked. And so I glued it in here. Um, just different whatever you want to glue in your glue book. So that's a composition notebook that you can use. You can take, I got stuff here that I need to put together. This here is just old papers, vintage type papers that I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna put a hole in the middle here and make it, I'm gonna put that in there as a pocket. And I'm going to put holes in it and run twine through it. Make this a book. Um, this right here was similar to what that is. This is just a bunch of junk mail. Just plain old junk mail that I put together in book form. And then in the middle, I opened it to the middle. I punched three holes and I ran twine through those holes and tied it off. And that's what I used as a binding. I put pictures on the front or a picture out of a magazine, added some little baby pictures, some flowers, 
uh, the, some letters to write dolls. I put some, um, uh, what do you call that? Oh my goodness. Tape. It's tape, duct tape on the edge for the binding. And this is my doll glue book. I just put pictures of different kind of dolls. These here are like scarecrow and owl dolls for the, um, for thank, uh, Thanksgiving and Halloween. This here is just different dolls, monkey dolls. I just put all kind of pictures of dolls in here. And I was starting some more there and didn't finish that page yet. So, that is an example. You can put together uh, junk. When you get junk mail, you have envelopes. You can put together pages. Put together your envelopes. Glue them together. You glue them opposite of each other so that it will fold in accordion style. And you make a glue book. That's all you have to do. To ha and that's just scrapbook paper that I've been adding some scrapbook paper to my um, envelopes for the background, getting it ready for back, you know, to start gluing pictures on. I'll just take a piece of scrapbook paper and put it over that. It don't have to be scrapbook paper. It can be a, uh, a magazine page. It could be whatever you want to put there. You can paint it, color it, whatever you want to do for your background. So you can do, use anything to be a glue book. So that's what a glue book is and then this here is a page that i did for today for glue book with us uh, i'd love for you to join in the hashtag if glue booking would be something you would be interested in um, i'd love for you to join in all i ask is uh, to add to your video add hashtag glue book with us so we can click on the hashtag and find everyone that participates and where we can watch your videos um i try to post on monday so if you would like to try to put up your page every monday that would be great but if something comes up you can't post it on monday you can post it any time of the week you want to um i try to on on Mondays but I have health issues and sometimes I'm not able to get it on the exact day some weeks I may not even be able to participate that's why it's called an open collab um, so you can join in as you can so this is the page that I did this week for our glue book with us uh, collab uh, I just took one of the pages out of my planner that's the back side I took some uh, I have some music sheets that someone gifted me I can't remember who gifted me what guys I'm sorry I just added all to my stash and then as I use it most of the time I can remember if it's gifted but I can't remember who gifted it but I just glued a piece of music paper on for the background this here was a stamp I colored, um, not last Friday, but the Friday before that for our, uh, I, I'm also hosting another collab, and I'm not going to go into that, but it's the, um, Color Your Stamps collab, and so that's what I had used a couple of weeks ago. Uh, this unicorn is a stamp that I did this past Friday for the uh, color your stamp uh, collab this here is just a uh, like a mason jar someone gifted it to me I put that there uh, this beautiful where it says beautiful it was actually a four by six um, project life card and I just cut out the word beautiful and then I went around it with a gel pen, the same color as uh, the turquoise on the unicorn. 
This is a picture out of a magazine that I cut out of a magazine of a uh, rooster. And then I have butterflies all around, like butterflies is just flying everywhere. One even landed on her skirt. She's a cowgirl. She has on cowgirl boots and a hat and her little bandana and her pretty little um, frilly uh, dress that uh, cowgirls go dancing in. And so I just kind of let the word beautiful uh, be my theme. You don't have to have a theme. You can just put any picture you want on, you know, just glue down a bunch of different pictures that has no rhyme or reason. Uh, sometimes I do that. Sometimes I go by a theme, uh, just whatever. But I kind of let the word beautiful be my theme this time. And so I just put things on here that I thought were beautiful. And, um, I think this rooster, his coloring and everything about him is beautiful. I love this stamp. I love this uh, cowgirl stamp. I think she's beautiful. This mason jar is beautiful. And then butterflies are always beautiful. And they're just stickers. Uh, just adhesive stickers that I pulled off of a sheet uh, and put on my glue book page so that is what i did today for glue book with a uh, hashtag glue book with us and like i said i'd love for you to join in if uh glue booking would be something you would be interested in okay guys i'm gonna get off of here so i can get this video uploaded i hope you all have a great rest of your day and i will talk with you later bye